Welcome into this week's QB meetings. QB meetings each week, by the way, are brought to you by LCUB, Amerigas, and Heritage Propane. We'll talk about our wonderful sponsors here in just a sec. This is gonna be a real low key, unedited, just sit down, chalk talk, check the tape, X's and O's, break it down where it's fun. You guys get to learn a little something. You can ask questions too. Vince Ferrar is gonna be helping me do this. So at Vince Sports or at Eric Ainge 3 on Twitter, you guys can send in questions. Each week we'll be putting one of these up at sportsradiownml.com right there on the homepage. So you guys can check it out and enjoy this with us. Again, it'll be real low key, not edited right here. So I can't screw it up. It's QB meetings, all right? Again, brought to you by LCUB. LCUB, if you're a customer for LCUB in the West Knoxville area from the Cedar Bluff area out to the North City, Loudoun County area, if you're a current customer, go to lcub.com, log on. And it takes about two minutes and you can do the automated system to where if they have an outage, a power problem, you'll get the phone call or the text message. It only takes about two minutes. I've done it, have a bill ready. It's very simple. And again, Amerigas and Heritage Propane for all your propane, residential and commercial needs. Think of Amerigas.com and HeritagePropane.com. All right, first play right here. As you see it, you got a little inside stem corner, uh, dig route, a deep post route, and these two little inside routes with a flare route right here. This play, as you see it right here, is the play. This is the first play, well, it used to be anyway, Vince. The first play you learn when you get to UT as a quarterback. This is 762 Meyer. This is Peyton Manning's favorite play that he ran at Tennessee. More completions on this play for him, Casey, uh, myself. This is a David Cutcliffe, Randy Sanders, 101. The first play you learn on the playbook you're not allowed to have right here, QB meetings, we're gonna go through Peyton Manning's favorite play while he was at UT. The first thing you always look at is the protection. How many guys are we blocking? When you're the quarterback and you walk up, right here, we're in shotgun and we could be under center, but for the sake of the conversation, we'll be in shotgun. When you walk up under center, right here, and you're looking and you put make the mic call, Mike's 54 and the line is gonna block these four guys right here and the wheel linebacker, and you're responsible for the Mike and the Sam and any of these DBs out here, but they have these four down and the wheel, whatever the case may be, those five guys that are blocked right here, seven man protection, the H, the running back, dual read on the Mike to Sam, the F that's coming in, seven man protection, he's gonna go wheel to four back here. So there's, you have a seven, true seven man protection. You can run Meyer in a six man, you can run it in empty, you can free release the F, you can free release the running back. It doesn't matter how you get to it. You're always trying to get to this look right here, which is that triangle read in the middle of the field. Every team has it. Uh, when I was with the Jets, they called it Gator because Brian Schottenheimer was a damn Gator, right? So they called it Gator, but it's the same thing. You just have a tight end on a little stick route in the middle, a dig route that you have to get to, and a route that you're trying to pull that inside linebacker out right there so right here when you look at 762 Meyer right here the Y Brett Smith was great for me in this route this is a feel route okay so you're coming in it's a bang stop this guy when he releases whether it's a tight end or a slot receiver he has to feel the inside guy and he is going to turn and stop right to the quarterback if he's open you hit him he's your first read right here if it's man to man he's going to pull out so he has to know whether it's man, know whether it's zone. That comes with these, knowing whether it's one high, two high, if it's two man, getting a good signal. Teaching this guy coverage is very important, knowing how quick you can get the ball out of your hand. Also, that's going to be one of your strong side pressure answers. Eric, explain the F for people that haven't heard that terminology, the F. The F right here, that's the adjuster in a lot of offenses. So the F, and whether you call them the X, the F, the B, doesn't really matter. This is the adjuster. So when you're in 21 personnel, it's a fullback, right? It's a second running back. When you're in 11 personnel, right? It's a receiver. It's a guy that's out there, you know, that's Tyler Bird out there going to catch the football. So this for me, a lot of the times, this was a guy named Chris Brown. He was kind of a hybrid guy, could play tight. You know, this would be Ethan Wolf a lot of times right now. You know, if that were a tight end, it'd be Ethan Wolf. This was Kroom last year. Guy's kind of coming in motion. He's going to check protection. And he's kind of trying to get that inside release and pull that wheel linebacker out. But that F is the adjuster who can play a lot of different positions for you when you're in a big personnel. So that's your first read. And by putting your eyes to your first read over here, 
What that does in zone coverage, in any zone coverage, when a QB moves his head, and it's legitimate because he actually might cock back and throw the football, this next guy over, the Mike linebacker, is going to naturally move a little bit. When he does, you can come back to number two, which is that inside release dig route right there. And you can see I kind of drew that corner route stem off of it. It's the same inside stem. You kind of make it look like this because what they do is you run this play off of it and then you run the F in motion and you run that play right there and you have a little reverse smash concept backside. So at sameness is the word we use all the time, trying to make things look exactly the same. So obviously we're not running that right now. We're running Meyer. We're running Peyton's favorite play. But this has to be your second read. You're trying to look to the Y. If you can hit him right now, do it. If it's man, you know he's gonna he's gonna run more of a vertical stem and break out right there. You're gonna hit that guy. And you're trying to hit number two here. We uh, played Florida my freshman year, and I had to hit Chris Hannon here. I had to got some pressure. I had to peel out right here and throw it back across my body and hit him here. His job is to be the third progression and pull that wheel linebacker to get him to run with you so you actually have a window in there to hit that dig route. Meyer, you're trying to hit the dig route. The only time you ever get over here to throw this court, to throw this deep post route is if you get quarters. It's kind of an alert. You have one, two, three, and then you have this quarters look, which is cover four, which is outside right here, and then a safety right here who has number two, which would be this tight end, released through eight yards. So when he releases up through about seven or eight yards and he locks him up and he goes and sticks his foot in the ground, you got a chance to throw that deep post route. One coverage, otherwise stay off of it. Go one to two to three, nowhere to throw the football. The H is checking protection and then running his little flat route. The only time he ever really gets the ball on Meyer is when we call it a take it principle. Uh, you saw Matt Ryan in the Super Bowl, made the play action fake, and then went to set up in the pocket, and no one, just no one even covered the running back in the flat. Not his first progression, not his second progression on the flood concept, but if he's wide open, take it. Never pass up an open flat is a rule we have as quarterbacks. When you're sitting back here in the pocket, if they're not gonna cover him, throw him the football, and the only way you're gonna know that is if they squeeze here in zone and they squeeze here. If they don't cover him, throw him the football. So it doesn't matter how many guys are blocking, it doesn't matter what coverage it is. You're going one to two to three. You know versus man, it's going to be a straight stem and out. Zone, one, two, three. Your job, son, pull him out so we can try to get the ball in here. You have to be quick to hear eyes to number one, and you better be quick on the reset and getting the ball out back to here to number two on Meyer. Quarters, alert yourself to try to throw that deep post route. Otherwise, know your protection. If you get a four-week, throw the side adjustment. Throw the little hitch route. Keep yourself protected. One, two, three. Throw the dig. Peyton's favorite play, 762 Meyer. Everybody's had a lot of completions on that at Tennessee. Vince, any questions? You covered a lot there, Eric. And it seems like it, whatever the situation is, whatever the defense is, you have an answer for it. That's that's it. Meyer, there's always an answer. Again, LCUB, Amerigas, Heritage Propane. We really appreciate you guys sponsoring at QB Meeting Sports Radio WNML. Each week we'll have new videos up. If you have any questions, at Vince Sports, at Eric Ainge 3. We'll see you next week.